Hi guys, Rich from Artsmap. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Now, this is actually the final update you're gonna see on this house behind me here, which is one of our projects over in Alder Edge at the minute, because this is the final update video. And the reason for that is because the client's moving in a week on Saturday. Now, there's still a lot to do, and the boys are here all next week getting all final setup done with Bryn and Tom from BMT Electrics, Kieran and Andrew here. Ollie's just here today finishing off some last bits. Um, but I've done lots of intros from out here. So let's have a little bit of a look inside. So as you can see behind me here, uh, a lot of the stuff's happening in the house, all of painting, well, first coat of painting is all on, all the door cases, architraves, the floors down, the kitchen's in, um, really, really high spec kitchen going in this one. In fact, it's actually got two kitchens. Uh, we have a little second prep kitchen and then the main kind of nice fancy kitchen. Um, so yeah, the house, really, really high spec. All the light fittings throughout are all lunar and we've got floor lights, wall lights, plastered in lights, directional lights, you name it, it's got absolutely everything. Um, to supplement that, there's lots of LED tape, there's five amps everywhere and we've also got lots of decorative wall lights and also other pendant feature lighting. In the sitting room, which is just where Cam stood right now, there is 16 circuits of lighting control with another 16 in the bar just adjacent to it. So it's 32 circuits of lighting in that room. And then the hallway just to the side of me there has an additional 15 circuits of lighting. Yes, 15 circuits of lighting. For those of you that are on AOS 3.0, this is actually a house that we've been programming up as part of the online training academy. So you'll have seen all those loads, which is uh, a little bit over the top, but um, it's the interior design aspect, so we just roll with it. So let's have a little look uh, at the rack, because that's now in place. So this little area here is actually going to be the plant room. Now, this is going to get a wall across it with doors on it, but the client's going to add these on after. Now it is going to be very tight in here because just to the side of me there is another room which is going to be client's wine storage. So because we didn't want to compromise on there, we had to get really, really clever with how we got this room. If you actually click on the description of this video, Craig is going to put in a link to a VR render that we did to design this plant room because we knew it would all fit. So just a quick rundown of what we've got in here without going too far because we're going to save this for the full set walkthrough. But we basically have our network and termination rack, We've got our main rack, we've got our electrical fuse board, we've got our security panel, and we've also got two lighting panels over there with a total of 11 lighting modules in it. So 11 times eight is 88 modules of lighting, um, 88 channels of lighting, sorry. Um, on top of this house is actually a hybrid, so we use the keypads to carry two loads, just especially on a job like this, otherwise you end up with loads of panels. But again, we're getting a bit techie, so I'll save that for the tech walkthrough. And then obviously we've got our main rack, which helps all our AV kit. If you want to see a video of this getting built, click here because Craig is going to insert a video right here. And Craig, right here, somewhere here. Video's inserted here. And you can click that and you can watch me do a tech walkthrough of this rack. If you're really interested in this rack, you can actually look in the description because we'll have a link to AOS 3.0 where you can watch a lesson on exactly how we built this rack. Let's go and have a look at the next little area. So, I just thought I'd show you this room here before it gets completely transformed. This is the cinema room. Now, what we've got built in the back here, we've got an LED coffer in the ceiling. We've got a couple of little all lunar spots, a couple more around the coffers as well. And then what we've got at the back here is a coffer detail that has been dropped in order to carry the projector. Now, I'm sure Cam's gonna show you a little bit of a close-up B-roll on there on how the joiners framed it out in order to be able to carry the lights because we've got more for Four more Aluna spots in there. And then we've also got the rear channels of audio. There is some Atmos channels, which are gonna get cut into the ceiling too, as well as the LCR, which is gonna go behind the 136 inch screen, um, as well as the two subs. Um, again, because there's an interior designer involved on this project, this room is gonna look absolutely sensational. It's got a big U-shaped sofa going in here, as well as all of the windows in the house, it's got shades. So we've got one, two, three, four, five shades on here, as well as a curtain covering the full lot. Exquisite. So we're upstairs in this property on the landing, and what we've actually got down here is bedroom two, three, four, and five, with a master bedroom just behind you there. This house is actually gonna have a full extension uh, later on this year, slash into next year, um, where there's gonna be loads of cool stuff adding, including a gym, meditation room, master dressing room, uh, and a golf simulator. So we'll update you on that when that comes. But for now, as you can see, all the lights are on, paintings on. I almost tripped over the carpets that are behind me here, which are all just going down at the moment. You've got really good eyes, you can see it on the video. You'll just spot in the back shot there, our custom lighting panel. 
um, which has been refabricated to make it a custom heating panel. So future automation panel that we've repurposed and had them CNC laser cut um, to create a custom heating panel, which is controlling all the heating for this full house. Again, if you click up here, you can see Drew talking you through that video. Um, in fact, this is turning into a bit of a tech walkthrough, but let's have a little sneak into the cupboard. This is the last little pan room that's just getting finished up at the moment. So what I've got over here is another 32 uh, circuits of lighting control, 24 circuits of DMX, and then this panel behind me here is a custom heating panel. So that actually controls the 28 zones of heating in this house. Every single zones, every single room is zoned off. Now, if I just take the cover off here, pop it off, you can see all the manifold controllers inside and where all the field wiring is connecting up at the top um, with all the stats on the door. Seriously impressive. Again, in case you didn't click it before, in case you've not watched it, please do click up here and watch this video because it's very impressive. So we're just up here in one of the bedrooms and as you can see all the carpets are down. We've got all the TV box tested out, all terminated, ready for a TV to go on there. We've just got the sockets which need to go into the boxes. Um, what Cam is going to cut to in a second is to show you the wall there. We've got lots of cables poking out the wall. Uh, and what that's actually going to be is all custom bed head frames, which the client is just waiting for, along with the custom side tables. And then all the sockets throughout this house, including the face plates, which change over once Decorate has given its final coat and put the engravings on, at Focus SB Antique Bronze, which look absolutely sensational. So I've come to site today to just give lads a bit of a push with the heating panel, get that finished. So I'm going to crack on. But next time you see this house will be the final finish, glossy videos, um, followed by a client interview. Um, clients kindly agreed before we started the project that they do a client interview video of this beautiful 8,000 square foot house in on the edge. So stay tuned for that one.